Hello, my people, and welcome to Sit, Sip, and Chat. If this is your first time here, Sit, Sip, and Chat is a show where we talk with different people in the community about what they have going on. This one is a little bit different. It seems like we're having a lot of special things happening. This one is a little bit different because this is Sir Martin Day edition. If you see my shirt, thank you, Bernie. Thank you, thank you. We celebrated Sir Martin Day here on Sir Martin, and I decided that we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna talk to the ladies about Sir Martin and our Sir Martin experiences and what it is being a woman is Sir Martin because we special like that. Um, where we are, we are here at Sea View. Beach Hotel located in Phillipsburg on the boardwalk. They have their newly renovated pool. You can hear the music in the background. They have different nights where they have different activities going on. So if you're in the area, definitely make sure that you check them out. I would also like to thank Rover for my drink, Strawberry Punk. I like a nice sweet drink and it's sweet. So with me, I have here Miss Mizzy Pantoflet. I'll call you Mizzy or call you Tat? No. Mizzy is fine. Mizzy is fine. I gotta <laughs> make sure. Yeah, yeah. We have Mizzy Pantoflet with us and we have Miss Jasenia Lazaro. <laughs> See, I was talking with the same trunk. Miss Jasenia Lazaro with us. <laughs> now, the significance of these ladies, you guys know we've been taping at Great Bay Media Studios. These are the faces of the women. Well, some of the women. We have additional ones as well. But these are the faces of some of the women here at Great Bay Media Studios. Mizzy, tell the people what it is. You know so. So, hi, my name is Mizzy. <laughs> I am your weather girl with the Sunshine Report. You know, so if you want to know the weather, I'm your girl. <laughs> So when you find on the street, say, Mizzy, what the weather is tomorrow? I could do that. You know people actually do that. I believe you. <laughs> That's what I actually do that. Um, I, I just do the weather Monday to Friday. On Saturday, figure it out on your own. <laughs> For now. And Mizzy is being humble. Mizzy <laughs> is also the reigning oh, yes. Miss Mature yeah. of St. Martin. Miss 2022. There we go. And she is also the... I don't know how did us place in queen in, in pageants. Oh, well, I'm the first runner up. She's yes. the first runner up in the Essence of Mine swimsuit pageant. Yeah, the second second season. That's yes. the like to so, call it. Yes. She she's doing things. You gotta tell people what you're doing so they know. <laughs> she in things. I mean, if you really wanna go in things, I'm also reigning queen for the Soka Queen 2019. Okay. <laughs> I'm also a swimming coach. I'm a masseuse. I'm a, a nurse. Um, yes, I do a whole lot, a whole lot of. As I like to say, I'm a jack of all trades, master of some. Okay, I didn't know about a nurse part. Yeah, but you're in things. Okay. <laughs> And then we also have Miss Jasenia Arazo. What do you have going on, Jasenia? Let the people know what you do to my great day. Well, hello everyone. It's a pleasure being here with Brenda at Sip, Sip and Chat. I am Jasenia Lazaro. I am the lady anchor at the news desk, St. Martin. Okay. St. Martin news desk. And again, being humble, she is <laughs> also, again, I don't know the placings. What was the placing that you placed for the Essence of Mind? Essence of Mind, I was the second red off for the first edition, the first so, season. First season, second, second season. season. Yes. I'm surrounded by queens. <laughs> so you understand why I had to bring them on the show. So we know what it is we're doing. So we're here, great babe, we sipping. Ladies, make sure you sip. Yes. So that, see if you know that we was wine. here and we was enjoying. Missy had a was sipping already so I've it's, been sipping <laughs> it's it's okay remember we don't judge people here because sip is in the name of the show and that's just how it's flowing so ladies before we go into the chat is there any upcoming things that you have going on anything that you want to let the people want to know before we deep dive into this Samaritan chat oh not yet I, not I can't say anything yet to... but I have a couple of things in store yes so we might see her more on the TV I can just shut out <laughs> <laughs> just saying do you have anything going on I have a few things going on yes mm -hmm. um what I can say as well is that you will see me more on TV as well yeah yeah <laughs> so look out for us <laughs> 
there's a lot coming. Good. So you understand. And because I, I mentioned her quickly, but I'm going to go more into it. Miss Veronique, you can find her on social media. She has different shirts, bucket hats, bags available on social media. She's a self-taught sewist, as she calls herself, a sewing artist who it uses her talents to just showcase the talent of St. Martin to showcase her island for branding. So definitely if you guys want to get you a nice little shirt. Yeah, you can hit like it. it. Yes. I like it. Yeah. I like and it. And her color. signature is there. I see. Okay, good. Branding. Made in St. Martin. You can check her out on Instagram. Very dot. Wait, I wrote it down. Very dot sxm so that's b e r y dot n i q u e dot sxm and with that guys we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be right back Remember, new episodes premiere every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 p.m. on TV15 and across other social media platforms. I'm Jessenia Lassiter, wishing you a wonderful week. Stay friendly, St. Martin. Hello, my people. Make sure you tune in to Sit, Sip, and Chat every Monday at 5 p.m. on TV15 and every Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. And make sure to tune in to the Late Night Show with Andrew Dick from Monday to Friday at 10 p.m. with a repeat in the afternoon for no reason. In the afternoon, the Late Night Show at 3 p.m. Thank you, TV15. Thank you, TV15. Make sure to tune in. Make sure to tune in to the Late Night. And sit, sip, and chat. Late Night. Hi right, people, we are back. I'm still here with Mizzy and Justinia. We still here sitting pretty at Seaview Beach Hotel. Let's see how long we gonna sit pretty. <laughs> we gonna sit pretty. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, so they tell me that I talked about the ladies, but I didn't expand on myself. Sure. So since they want me to, if this is your first time here, like I said, my name is Glenda York of GCY Initiative. And GCY Initiative is a destination is a destination marketing initiative based on the island of St. Martin, where I focus on travel, lifestyle, and culture. This is a part of the culture. This is why we have sit, sip, and chat because we are showing people the culture of the island by talking to people that live on the island, that are doing awesome things on the island, and that you just need to know about. So that's what I do. If this is your first time meeting me, hi, nice to meet you. And feel free to follow me on social media platforms, GCY Initiative on all platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And I should say that, do you guys have any platforms that you want people to follow yes. you on? Very easy, Mizzy underscore love school, M-I-Z-Z-Y underscore love school on everything. Thing. Yes. Okay, and Justinia? You can find me at Jessenia, which is my first name, J-E-S-S-E-N-I-A. My last name, which is Lazaro, L-A-Z-A-R-O. Okay. So, or, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Some of you may know me as Jessica as well. Jessenia Jessica Lazaro is my Facebook name, so you can check me out there as well. Okay. So you can find us, you can follow us and see what it is that we have going on. So then since we just talked about first name, last name, Mm -hmm. You know there's a thing on St. Martin, when you meet somebody for the first time, they ask you who you're for. Okay, <laughs> it's so popular, can you make a whole song about it? Mm -hmm. Who you're for? So now, I'm going to start up. They say I'm, I'm going to forget myself. I'm going to start up. <laughs> My name is Glenda York. 
Most people know the Yorks. If you're from St. Martin. Um, at now what you said, I'm from St. Martin. As from the Yorks in Saka Garden, for the Yark children, um, my father is Lepo Yark. He has bar and beach chairs that he sells. And my mom is not from St. Martin. My mom is on division. She's lived here for more than half of her life. And I consider her St. Martina because she know more about here than where she's from. <laughs> um, and that is my lineage. My grandparents are from St. Martin and Anguilla. My, my mother said I couldn't tell you because the records weren't kept that well. <laughs> so we ain't quite know where it is there. But that's me. And I bring that up because there are statistics that show that most people on the island that live here now, um, the St. Martin community, it's born here, St. Martin community is very small. Yes. So, in, for instance, in my case, where my dad is from here, my mom is not, that is the majority of cases on the island. So, what is your, who you for? Who I for? Who you for? <laughs> Well, actually, mm -hmm. I am a Latin. My family are from Dominican Republic, mm -hmm. and my parents came to St. Martin many, many years ago, and um, they started the being a St. Martin a thing. So I had my children, and now I my um, my generation is basically what commenced the St. Martin lineage. So there you go. You from here? I from here. You from here? From Simati. <laughs> Missy. Well, um, actually, both parents are not from here. Okay. I am part of the Pantoflet family. So my family is from here. Um, however, my grandfather, if I'm not mistaken, is from here. Okay. So my dad was born in Aruba. My mom was born in Curaçao. Um, they both met in Holland. And my dad got a job here, and that's how they migrated here and, you know, raised a family. So I am part of the pantoufles, I am part of the priests, gums, um, and... You're from here. <laughs> yeah, I, I was born and raised here, yes. You're from here, from Temi related. You start naming more than one family <laughs> going on that stream. Yeah, it, You're is, just from it here. is because it's so crazy that one um, we don't call them family. Mm -hmm. So much different families are yep. connected right. one way or another. So you know we's family. It's one so way I or tell another. It, you know why I'm saying that? Because we are uh, my family, my grandmother's family recently found out that her family who originally were from Anguilla is when they came to St. Martin or from Anguilla to Saint Martin, there's so much connections in so many families on this island. And then on the York side of my family, there's so many connections Correct. on this island. So it's, I keep telling people, I couldn't talk to anybody from Simat, and that's why my husband's from Curacao. Yeah. Because <laughs> anything other than that would have been incest, because yeah, you know, it's kind of happening. Very possible. Yeah. And I like that you touched on that your dad got a job here, so that's how we ended up here, because right. I think that's how so many people got to the island yeah with job opportunities they came down or with job opportunities we had St. Martin people that left, left. Yeah. Right. started families other places and then either came back or they stayed away so then you have families that are abroad that are part of St. Martin mm -hmm. that may not know that they're part of St. Martin or have no they know but they, know. they don't really know because the knowledge hasn't been passed down yeah. that yeah. I think that's a really important thing to make mention of because I think a lot of people don't, a lot of elders either don't or haven't found the opportunity to give that information to the younger generation. I think it really depends on their life story. If they had a good story, ah, this happened and that happened and blah, blah, blah. But if there was a little some a little traumatic something going on, mm -hmm. I think they tend to like, okay, let me That's not like tell you the island. your yeah. history. I don't like this one, Correct. so I don't want to tell you anything. Uh, but then, so just because you know, you're, you're first generation, say Martin, mm -hmm. but then do you get the stories of the Dominican Republic 
or of your family history there, um, even though you live here, because now you are French generation, you came from there. So it's like similar to the person that was from St. Martin that went away. Correct. So do you get those stories from Dominican Republic? I, I, I didn't. I didn't. And I think it's because of, like you say, that the elders don't actually give that information for their own reasons. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not sure why I didn't get much information about my, my, uh, my family's history in Dominican Republic. However, um, I took it upon myself to do some research nice. and ask questions. And, and I have, I'm the youngest of seven um, children that my mom had. And I would go to Dominican Republic and ask questions. So they're a lot older than me. Mm -hmm. And they would tell me, okay, this is what happened then. And this person is your family and you're related to that person as well. So that is all I know because I am uh, inquiring about the topic. Oh, nice. I like that because a lot of times you feel like if you don't ask the questions, you don't get those answers. And I, I personally find it's like so important to know where you come from, Correct. to have that information because then you can pass it to your kids. It's Specifically on St. Martin, more so because it's such a small island, mm -hmm. you need to know where you come from, who the person is that you're talking to, because you might accidentally walk into a family feud, mm -hmm. or you might get to a long lost cousin right. that you right. realize is your cousin. Because although they ain't going to tell you that's that one child, they know that's that one child. They see you talking to that one child, but they ain't going. They gonna probably just say, don't, 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 talk, talk, yes. don't talk to them, but they won't tell you why. And I like the fact that you um, touch on kids, yeah. because um, at least when my daughter in school, they will say, okay, you got to do a project, family tree. Yeah. And now I was like, <laughs> okay, why well, have to scramble now to figure out, okay, daddy yes. side have this, right. mommy side have this. And it's good to learn, you yeah. know, for yourself and for the child as Correct. well. And I think it helps to form an identity. Correct. It helps exactly. you to be more secure in who you are if you know where you came from. Yes. yes. And people, we say Martin people, okay? <laughs> but I gonna take a sip. We are gonna come back, find you a sip, and then join us when we come back. My people, we are back. I'm still here with Mizzy and Jacinia. We are St. Martin this still. <laughs> but this is the thing. We are St. Martin. We hear about the island. We are here to celebrate who we are. Uh -huh. And in a bittersweet type of way, while we celebrate the island and its people and its wonderfulness, we are also this this St. Martin they were also celebrating life. We're celebrating the colorful life of Lady Ruby Butte. 
If you don't know who Ruby Beauty is, she is a St. Martin icon who recently passed away. So basically the island is in mourning. If you know, you know. If you don't, you need to look it up because if you're here, you should know who Ruby Beauty is. So what I'm gonna read off is um, what's posted on the Ruby Beauty Silk Cotton Grove Art Gallery page when they announced her passing. They said that Ruby Beauty is a St. Martin icon, ambassador of culture, cherished soul, artist, poet, and friend to many. Ruby Beauty touched countless lives with her warmth, creativity, and spirit. I myself have never met Ruby Beauty before, but that's basically what I've heard about her every time someone speaks about her about her being very kind, yeah. very welcoming, yes, very encouraging. And that was always, it was like nice to hear, but it was also intimidating because you you know of this person and to hear that they were that down to earth, exactly. it was almost easier to, to hope that they weren't nice so then it would make it easier to not approach. Right. But it was um, so cool to hear those things about someone that everyone, held in high regard. And I am happy to say that about two years ago, Coffee and Soda Biscuits held a tribute to Lady Ruby Butte. Um, I'm so happy, right now I'm so happy that they did it while she was alive. Um, held on uh, the northern half, that's correct, right management? The northern half. <laughs> held on the northern half of the island. And they just had so many um, showcases of her art, yes. they have people performing songs, and I am happy that I was repping um, Poets Lounge at the time, and I got to read a poem that I wrote about Ruby Beauty. I'm not gonna read it now, mm -hmm. but now to look back and say that I was a part Your of part. that yes, celebration exactly. is definitely a thing I will hold definitely. as something, something awesome yes. that I did with my life. Do you guys have any, have you met Ruby Beauty? Do you guys have any memories of her visiting her art gallery? Uh, well, as an adult, I haven't really seen Ruby Beauty much. Um, but as a child, she used to live down the, the street from me. And every Christmas, my street in particular, we'll meet at uh, one person's house. And apparently our street was very talented. So my dad would play music. One would read poems, one would sing. So we had like That's a whole nice. a whole talent <laughs> <of the> day <laughs> for Christmas. So those times, um, seeing her and her her speaking, yeah. well, watching her interact yeah. with people was very. I want to say interesting because that's my favorite word to say but it was very interesting as a child because she she speaks very calm yes and poised and even when she's upset huh? well sometimes <laughs> <laughs> sometimes but she's very calm very poised hey can you don't do that especially she's very big on manners mm -hmm. very like yeah. if she sees something that's not supposed to be she she call she call 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 out on it she doesn't care who you are nice she don't know who your parents are but right. that's not right yeah. cut it out yeah mm -hmm. yeah that's one of my memories as a child yeah oh, that's nice okay for me though um i did get to meet her so okay. i am very happy that i got the opportunity as well yeah um and more especially for my children they up they also got an opportunity to meet her as well okay um i think it was maybe two christmas back mm -hmm. if i'm mistaken two years ago we went over to the prince the christmas village there she, exactly ah. and that was amazing it was so beautiful it was special yeah. because the children of course they were i'm getting goosebumps talking about it they were so excited and they're looking all over oh, yeah i God. heard it was awesome it was amazing and she offered us a shot of um guava berry nice yes because it's christmas and oh she's my God. Culture, so it she has to offer you amazing so she is like you mentioned so kind and so soft speaking and she was so welcoming so of course it's just amazing that my family and i had the opportunity to go over there we have some pictures as well so that's something that we can hold on to yeah. yes and um yeah look i'm literally just it's <laughs> i'm just beautiful. happy that um 
most people got to honor her yes, yes. while she was alive. So she deserved she it. She knew the significance that she had on the island. Correct. And that what she contributed to the island. Correct. 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 That Correct. is so cool. And also for those that didn't know her before then, mm -hmm. after those um, events, they were more aware of who it was. We have a doc. We literally have documentation of who she is, and hopefully. Yes. It will it's go well, in history to say. And, and talk, school, and talk, and talk exactly. and school. Yeah, because she has a book of poetry that she released in 1980. Yes, 1989, she released True House of Nehesi, The Golden Voices of Sir Martin. And not Saint Martin, Sir Martin. Sir Martin. <laughs> okay, so The Golden Voices of Sir Martin, which was released in 1989, and it had, uh, I believe it had uh, other reprints over yeah. the years so that's how good it was that's how popular it was it had reprints it's a book of poetry so if you are interested if you want to know more about lady ruby Butte, mm -hmm. i would suggest you google it find the book buy it and read it and i also found out that i think quite recently she released the children's book oh, i yes. don't do you know the name of it i do not know but i i remember um during uh book week that they were they were reading the book. Yeah, I, I, I feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll look it up and see if we can pop it up somewhere. It, yes. Hopefully we find it. And then we'll let you guys know so that you can look for that one as well. And Perfect. it's a children's book. Yeah. So you can take it, you can read it to your kids. Because we have definitely have to start imparting the culture. I think so. From young. So that even if you don't get in a cultural field, like it's so important to have some type of culture touch your life yeah i think it adds for a more well-rounded person and it it adds to the sim martin identity and your again you add it to your identity as a person to know where you come from who your people are and it helps to kind of steer you in where it is that you'd like to go ruby Butte is a sim martin icon yes i wish i had write it, wrote, written it down oh someone wrote she is a Martin icon that is now an ancestor. Mm -hmm. And we definitely honor her and her memory. And we definitely send our condolences to the family. Ladies, cheers. Also, cheers. Cheers to her. Cheers to Sophia. My people, we will go. We take a quick break and we'll be right back. Remember, new episodes premiere every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 p.m. on TV15 and across other social media platforms. I'm Desenia Lassiter, wishing you a wonderful week. Stay friendly, St. Martin. Hello, my people. Make sure you tune in to Sit, Sip, and Chat every Monday at 5 p.m. on TV15 and every Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. And make sure to tune in to the Late Night Show with Andrew Dick from Monday to Friday at 10 p.m. with a repeat in the afternoon for no reason. In the afternoon, the Late Night Show at 3 p.m. Thank you, TV15. Thank you, TV15. Make sure to tune in. Make sure to tune in to the Late Night. And sit, sip, and chat. Late Night. My people, we are back. Uh, you can tell I've been sipping because I like my drink. Mizzy, take a sip, Mizzy, take a sip. <laughs> we were trying to keep it off camera so you don't judge. <laughs> judge all you want. The show is called Sip and Chat. <laughs> Thank you. Sip, sip and chat, Mizzy. We sit into. Oh, sit, sip, sip and chat. Thank you. Boom. Anyway, my people, we are back. I'm still sitting with the ladies of Great Bay Media 
I be getting into it. Now, just before the break, we were talking about Lady Ruby Butte. May her soul rest in peace. And what I wanted to talk about, because one thing that Ruby Butte is known for, or we say that she embodies, is culture. Culture of St. Martin. She does it mostly through the arts, with painting, yes. with her poetry, as an author. No. I know you wanted to have a point. Before I, before I go into what I wanted to say, mm -hmm. you had a point that you wanted to make before we went up. Yes, I... So, like, we were talking about Ruby Butte, she is culture. What is our culture? Okay. Because for some people, um, they said that our culinary history is our culture. Okay. Some people say our music is our culture. Uh, some people say we lack culture so it's like what where i agree where are that what do you agree i agree that we lack culture why again don't don't we're um, coming for you we're coming for <laughs> you <come> for me. <laughs> however um you know i believe as we mentioned earlier i think that there should be a lot more culture emphasized at the schools mm -hmm. you know um before back then it was when it comes to government, for example, I would have to do projects on the commissioners, projects, but then we had commissioners. Now, my eldest is 12, and I, last year was the first time he actually had a project in regards to our government. Mm. So, for example, I think that it should be more emphasized in school, our culture in a whole. Mm -hmm. So, our music, our foods, um, the way of being, just just in general, mm -hmm. right? Speak more about the islands and things that that considers a Saint Martin on a whole. But and again, we is, have. Mm -hmm. I'll leave you finish. <laughs> we have, as as we when we started, we mentioned that some of our parents are from Saint Martin, some are not. Yeah, correct. Mine and none of my parents are from Saint Martin, mm -hmm. and I don't I have actually either. have uncles or great grandparents from Saint Martin at all. So. Again, it's important that we try to maintain that St. Martin culture as mm -hmm. strong as we can because so much other um, nationalities create I, exactly. That's, you know, a, that's exactly, exactly right. where I was going. We're like a melting pot. Exactly. So and to be, remain mm -hmm. a St. Martiner mm -hmm. is like, I don't want to say difficult, but I think if it was imposed in schools for it to be more... I don't know, maybe from, I know they teach about the flags. Yeah. In K1, K2, they teach yeah. about the flag, but St. Flag Martin, Trans, tree, French, Dutch, right. All of but that. that's, that's basically where they stay, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. What about our actual history? So then, my question is, where, because you touched on the schools. Now I'm playing devil's advocate. Mm -hmm. The schools teach you that. Where does mommy and daddy come into play about teaching you about your culture? Or what can we do to show our children? Because we can't rely on the school. We've learned that over the years. We can't rely on schools to do everything. everything. Correct. We also play a role in what our children learn because they're around us a lot of the times too. They're watching us, they're seeing how we interact and how we so do everything. The schools. So it's not, I mean, the schools can do more because that's where they spend that's how most I of feel. their days. That's how I feel. I feel like it should be more of a but then priority. If we feel you know? that they're not doing enough, then where do what are we, we step doing? in yeah. to make sure? Because we have a museum. I did a, um interview with Mr. Morris Richardson of the museum a few episodes back. Make sure you go check that out. Um, but the museum is there, but how many people know where the museum is? Correct. How many of us know what's in the museum at all the different um, displays that they have? But how much time do you want to go to the museum too? Every Saturday you don't want to go to the museum and see the same thing. That's true. But then if the museum have new exhibits, but then the museum will need to expand them. That's a different conversation. So it's another go priority go to for government to actually... Well, we don't need government to do everything. Exactly. exactly. But it's part of... St. Martin, it can, it's part I, of our I can culture. speak for me, like when I travel, like when I go to Curacao, once you turn on that radio, all you hear is their music. I agree. When you go to Aruba, all you hear on the radio is their music. When I travel with my family, my mom was like, okay, this is this, this is that. So, but we have the government radio station, which is 107.9. 107. 
107.9. Thank you. 107.9. 107.9. They play only local music. So if you wanted to get the local music, this is the thing. Is a lot of the times I think it's there. It's but there. You're unaware. But you don't know, right. or it's not popular. And I think yes. when we speak about culture, we tend to think about heritage. We think mm -hmm. about things in the history. Yes. Correct. That is very true. So that is that is my thing. Culture and history, culture and heritage is two different things. They kind of go hand in hand. Yes. But they're not the same thing. The museum teaches us our heritage, where we come from, who the people was that was here. Speaking of culture. So we can help us to move forward. <laughs> they have Maka Jumbies walking. <laughs> State walkers walking there. Um, but in a culture, in my opinion, somebody that may know better, you know, you can let us let me know. The culture is how we do things. So although my mother is from St. Martin, my mother is very St. Martin. She pick up on the culture of St. Martin to adapt. So here, so, my mother don't have an Evasion accent. I have what, more of an Evasion accent than my mother right now. What do you consider our culture? Our culture is the way we do things. Our culture is when you finish school by academy, you're starting up outside waiting for the school bus. Our culture is reaching the club, whatever time people are reaching the club because I get older and I don't reach the club no more. <laughs> our culture is buying these shots on St. Martin Day and then every other time of the year. You, you know what I want to say our culture is? Well, our culture is. Our culture is, and this is just for, for laughs, our culture is we can talk bad about us, but nobody else can talk bad about us. No. That is very true. <laughs> that, that, that is very true, and that is a culture here. We are a proud people. That is our yes. culture as well. Mm -hmm. But for I good or for bad. I believe no matter what, we should have something that we would remain with. So, for example, Many things have changed throughout the years, mm -hmm. and our culture has been changing throughout yes. the years. Not so, in my opinion, I think that there should be something that, no matter what happens, no matter how many years pass, no matter how much other um, uh, nationalities come into Saint Martin, we still have that Saint Martin culture. But then it's what we don't people pick to South preserve anymore. it. <laughs> Why? That is true. <laughs> I, I won't go into the pond. It's like That's so okay. many avenues that you can go into, but we kind of we keep it, okay. we keep it on a level. Of, but saying. you're not wrong. But I think that's up to us as a people. So if you want Correct. to stand strong and say, you can't talk bad about us, don't give me the ammunition to fire at you with. Very true. How you want me to treat you, I watch it to see how you treat yourself, then I'm gonna treat you accordingly. Very true. So if you want me to treat you nice, why are I gonna see you on the road and talk bad about you and then expect me to come and treat you nice? Me and you as friends, that's how I talk about you. But then Mizzy can't talk about you. It's not right either way, but if this is what Mizzy seen, we does interact. Missy will assume that is our culture and Missy right. will come and do the same. Right. As she gets into society, she will do the same. But I think we should be very careful like, on a whole as a people. We should and I agree. be very careful because again, our country is a touristic country, All right. right? So someone is going to come from another country, from let's say from the United States of America or Canada or anything, and they will believe that Whoever they see on the street, that's how we are. Correct. Exactly. So they are targeted. We're going to be targeted by that one individual that maybe um, made us look bad or, you know? So I think that's why we need to focus on what is our actual culture. Because anyone can say whatever, but is that really who we are? You notice we sip it, right? <laughs> Let's. <laughs> Don't bring people in glass. Let's sip. Not people. <laughs> oh, you can tell. This is a definitely a conversation to have. Maybe we might have another show focus more on it. I think we should. But for now, part two. we're going to sip yeah. and we're going to go on commercial. We'll be right back. Happy St. Martin's Day! <laughs>
the first. My people, we are back. I had to re-up because my drink was finishing. Yes, let's sit. I needed to stir. <laughs> Maisie, you don't have to sip no more. It's okay. I'll, I'll do the sipping for you. I'll do the sipping for you. Maisie just gets quite drunk. <laughs> okay, so what I wanted to touch on because See, management has give me a lot of information mm -hmm. that has helped me, you know, like guide the show depending on what the show is about. So, what was presented to me is that the unity flag, you guys know the uni unity flag, right? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. So, yes. Check the. Oh, if you all know, <laughs> the unity flag. Thank you, Coco Moods. It's beautiful, guys. The unity the flag. Yeah. Um, is a representation of St. Martin, 37 square miles. If you don't know, I'm trying to find a politically correct way to say this. St. Martin is divided in two. It's a small island divided in two. We reside under Holland, the Netherlands, and we reside under France. I don't know how to say that in a better way, so we can just go with that. You can disagree with my wording. That's okay. I hear, I can't hear you as you disagree with me, so that's fine. <laughs> Send um, it in the comments. <laughs> what she said. Hi. But we're two islands. We're two separate oh, countries. Miss, miss. Oh. So we're it's two one island. countries <laughs> one residing on one <laughs> island. Right? So two different governments. A French government and, and a Dutch, Dutch government. Okay. Well, north side and, and the, the southern and the south side. side. So this is a mountain. Um, I don't know the exact year off the top of my head. Management is gonna have to <laughs> That's okay. It's my show. Um, a few years ago, or in the 80s, the unity flag was created. It was meant to represent the island on a whole. One people, one island, one destiny. Because whether you're born on the northern side or the southern side, we all say Martinus. We don't see that we don't have an open we have an open border. We don't see a border. Yes. My family is from French Quarter. Which is on the French side. My family is also from Middle Region. Um, so in 2023, we had the inauguration of the Unity flag on the northern half of the island. It became an official thing um just before St. Martin's Day and it was celebrated last year, St. Martin's Day. This year, again, the northern half of the island is celebrated with the unity flag, and we're seeing it also on the southern side. Because again, one island, one, one people, people, one destiny. Ladies, what is your thought? Because not everybody like the okay. unity flag, or I think whatever they think about the unity flags, what is your thoughts on the unity flag? I think the reason why people don't like the unity flag is because they don't understand the unity flag. Because well, I think there's several misconceptions about why it was created as well, based on the people. At least that for created. me, I could speak, when I heard about the unity flag, when I started seeing the unity flag, it just popped out of nowhere for me. It's just like, mm -hmm. where did this come from? Right. And because of my co-host at the time, who is very deeply into St. Martin culture, yeah. is why I get to learn about it. And I know more now, but if it wasn't for him, I don't think that information would be right in my yeah, access to it. So I think it's more that we should educate each other on what is the unity flag. And in your opinion, what is the unity flag based off of what your your co host had told you? What we always what we've been learning since we was a since a child. Mm -hmm. One island, one people, one destiny. And that's basically what it's yeah, that's right? that's what it is. Okay. Fair enough. What's your thoughts on it? Is that just saying? Um, in my opinion, I think it's amazing. Honestly, I think it's amazing. It um, signifies the togetherness of the northern side and the southern side. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, throughout my years of living in St. Martin, there's always been a obvious division of the oh, two yeah. sides. Mm -hmm. French side, Dutch side. But with the unity flag, it really gives it a deep connection between the two 
governments within the two sides of the island and I think that's that's amazing. A couple of days mm -hmm. I um, my my children's school were celebrating St. Martin's Day. Of course it's a holiday here on the island therefore there's no school mm -hmm. on the actual day yeah. of St. Martin's Day which is the 11th of November. However, um, I dropped them over to school and they were celebrating um, St. Martin's Day and it was so beautiful to see the two flags. It mm -hmm. was the St. Martin flag that we've had all along, which is a red, white, and blue. And also the unity flag was there and it was amazing. It was beautiful. I felt so, I don't know, it was grand, you know, mm -hmm. to see the, and feel the unification of both sides of the island. Oh, this is what I don't interject quickly. No, 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 no. Um, the thing that I'm most happy about when it comes to the unity flag is that we, the people, actually fought for this flag to be recognized because for a long time you would see some people you know you have you see the flag here yeah. and there but it was maybe like you would think like maybe 10 20 people knew about the flag but now it's more of a, a okay. whole island yeah. knows about it yeah. it just needs to be like i said earlier a little bit more educated about the flag and when it was actually created because um, i did not know it was created then i thought okay. <laughs> So I have a question for you guys. Do you think that we should... Wait, can I call you just take over my show? Go ask a question. <laughs> okay, ask your question. All right, so the question is, do you believe that we should remain with just the unity flag? I like both. And not have the northern side flag and the southern, southern side flag, just have one flag? I think when the people decide, when I say decide, I mean in voting, decide what it is that they want to do, then we make that decision. But until then, mm -hmm. the powers that be, please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, the powers that be kind of dictate to the best of my understanding how we operate to a level. But what's your so, personal opinion? I figure if we use one island, we have one flag, right? But then again, you will get the traditionalists that will kick up because they want the St. Martin flag. They don't recognize the unity flag. And I think more people, like Missy said, if you get the meaning of the, the unity flag right. and you take bias out of it, because what I've realized in conversation is that persons that have an issue with the flag it is not based on the flag itself, but more so on the persons that created the flag and oh, what they okay. believe the intent oh. was. Okay. And okay. that is also a subject piece. But we ain't going into that right now. We gonna go take a break and we'll be right back. Remember, new episodes premiere every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 p.m. on TV15 and across other social media platforms. I'm Jesenia Lassiter, wishing you a wonderful week. Stay friendly, St. Martin. Hello, my people. Make sure you tune in to Sit, Sip, and Chat every Monday at 5 p.m. on TV15 and every Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. And make sure to tune in to the Late Night Show with Andrew Dick from Monday to Friday at 10 p.m. with a repeat in the afternoon for no reason. In the afternoon, the Late Night Show at 3 p.m. Thank you, TV15. Thank you, TV15. Make sure to tune in. Make sure to tune in to the Late Night. And sit, sip, and chat. Late Night. And we are back, guys. Now, this is the quick wrap up. This is the fight. What do you call it? The fire session? The fire session. The rapid session. We're going. Okay.
Boom. One. What is five? <laughs> Mizzy. Twenty. How you get drunk off a spread though? <laughs> what is your fondest St. Martin Day memory? Go. Fondest St. Martin's Day memory. Uh, I must say it was many, many, many years ago. Maybe 16, 17, 18 years mm -hmm. ago. And I was allowed to go to the beach without my parents for the first time. <laughs> I was shocked at the amount of people that were at the beach. Mm -hmm. Because that's part of our culture that we would go to the beach on, holiday. on our holidays, specifically St. Martin's Day or for Easter as well. Mm -hmm. Christmas, it don't matter. Yeah. But it's a holiday, so we go in. And it was it was crazy because I was with some friends. My sister was there as well. That's why I got to go, just saying. But it was amazing because there was so much food and it was uh, at um, Legalia, mm -hmm. which no longer exists, right? It's not. It's still there. It's, still there. it's just not as popular. Been there quite as, some time. It's just not as popular as it used to be. Yeah. But it's still there. So it there were tents there. There were music everywhere. So many people, and it was amazing. So as a child that was not allowed to go anywhere without my parents, and that first time I was allowed to, I had a blast. It was it was just beautiful to see how everyone just. Had an amazing time, mm -hmm. share their moments, food, drinks. It was such a happy. You was happy to the gallivanting. That's right. <laughs> you was happy for the gallivanting. It I, was special. I it understand. Was special. <laughs> Mizzy, I do not remember what year it was, but it's a very faint memory that I'll never forget. I believe this was when the cultural center was just built, mm -hmm. and that was the first year that it would have. At least the first year I was invited for the St. Martin Day um, festivities, because I am a performer. And I remember being on stage and dancing the St. Martin Rumba and just looking out in the crowd. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> looking out in the crowd and seeing everybody so happy that we yes. have a place that is ours. Yeah. Yeah. So that is basically my... That's nice. Best. That's a nice yeah. yes. Okay, so mine was, and it's like a continuous thing, so a few years ago, I say a few, but it's probably over 10 years ago, down street, when Bobo and mm. Bobo them used to have Calypsonians go and perform down by Bobo them on, on um, down street. And my dad used to go, because my dad is very big into Calypso. And I would go with him just so I could get out of the house, mm -hmm. because he won't go on the road. But it, they had it every year. So my dad would go every year once they had it. So then we would go, there would be the Calypsonians performing, there would be food, there would be people. And I'm a person that I like to be around people having a good time. Yeah. I take in your vibes of you having a new right. and it adds to my experience, yeah. yes. So I just remember it was continuous, at least three years I have in my mind, but I don't know how young it was actually happening, where we would go St. Martin Day, pick up, we go in the afternoon, get food, and end up staying there in the night as long as we could stay because I was young. I had to be, I don't even think I was a teenager yet or very early teens. So my dad couldn't stay up too late with right. me, but we were there and I just, I just loved it mm. because I would look forward to it to Martin Day. I'd be like, yes, that's yes. where we're going. Unfortunately, it stopped after a while and I was a little sad the first year we didn't go. I was like, okay, what are we going to do now? But they've, thankfully, there's other things that popped up. But yeah. that definitely sticks in my head. Now it's like, now I want to find a specific thing to do with my daughter. Every year. So that like we can yeah, celebrate. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm a sentimental person. I like traditions. Yeah, I and since we're talking about culture of St. Martin Day, like that is a big part of, again, the brand is travel, lifestyle, and culture. Mm -hmm. And I like to say that we have a rich culture here in St. Martin. Mm -hmm. So I want to make sure my people know about our culture. I also want to commend you for doing this. Thank you. Yes, I, I don't know if you get your flowers, but I remember probably like two years ago, mm -hmm. you just randomly popped up on my Instagram and I was like, hmm. This is interesting. Oh. So that that's I don't I don't remember exactly what it was that drew me to you, mm -hmm. but the fact that you highlight different things on the island. Thank you so much. Yes, it is. It is. Oh, you yeah, just put me on the spotlight now. Huh? 
Yeah. I'll take a sip. <laughs> take a sip. Take a sip. No, I, I really appreciate you for that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice to see that you're appreciated because the work is for St. Martin. It's for a love of St. Martin and the people because we just go like that. And for our culture. Yeah. It's definitely for the culture. And my people, we're going to wrap it up there. Ladies, thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Yes. I hope you guys enjoyed the chat. We got, we got a little extra chatty, but it's because it's about St. Martin. And we're yeah. passionate. Passionate, It's very genuine. easy to get passionate yes. about something that you love. Correct. And we are St. Martiners loving on our island. All right. So we're going to get a little chatty. And we got drinks. See if you, more. See if you give us some Martin. nice drinks. Yeah. So, wow. I want to thank CB for the drink that he gave me because you can be my friend if you give me drinks. CB is beautiful. It is. Yeah, and the food is, is amazing as well. It Next time we we'll come back and have some food, okay? I think we should. I think oh, we and guys, should. remember also that CB is taking part in St. Martin Flavors. So definitely come out, support, get you something to eat and drink while you're here. Let them know you heard about it on Sit, Sip and Chat. <laughs> Please and thank you. And my people, Happy St. Martin Day. Happy St. Happy St. Martin, Martin Day. Get you something to drink. Get you something to eat. Definitely enjoy the culture. Because that is the point. We have a very rich culture on the island. Regardless of what some may say. <laughs> um, so enjoy it while you're here. And until the next time, my people. Happy St. Martin Day. Happy St. Martin Day. Happy St. Martin Day. <laughs>